Hello, this is Leisha Breen with Journey to Greatness, 365 days to your best year yet. Okay, you can have the life you want to live. You can become who you want to be. But to do this, my friends, you have to become aware of who you have been in the past and how you are being in the present right now. Who are you right now? And then you have to look at who and how you want to be in the future. Who do you need to be in the future to create this life that you want to live? You have to get clarity on what you want to create and then decide what new characteristics you will need to embody to create the new life vision. Now, certainly you understand, if you really think about it, that if you want a different tomorrow than you have today, you can't keep doing the same things you were doing yesterday and truly being the same person you were yesterday. You're going to have to change some things up. Your beliefs, your actions, and even some some of your characteristics will need to evolve in order for you to get different results. Now, we all have an image of the way we are or the way we believe we should be. Our self-concept can have a positive influence on our life. And those who have the best in life, that have created a beautiful life, they have nine times out of 10, a great self-concept. But nine times out of 10, more often than not, most people's self-concept is subpar. And it's usually due to our beliefs and even our negativity bias. If our self-concept is not analyzed, if it's not explored, if it's not course corrected, then it can become an individual's biggest obstacle to future success. And each one of us do have a self-concept, but if we want our results and our life experience to change for the better, we have to adopt a new self-concept that involves who we need to become coupled with a vision of what we want to create. And this is where we need to place our focus and our efforts. Our focus should not be on competing or comparing ourselves with other people. We need to compete with ourselves. We need to compare ourselves from where we are today in regard to where we were yesterday. Have we improved? Are we getting better? Or are we getting worse? Are we stagnant? If we're stagnant or we're less than we were yesterday, then we really need to take a look at that. If we want a better life, we have to focus on who we want to evolve into so that we can create our envisioned future. So let me give you some steps real quick on how you can get started if you feel like you are stuck. We first have to buy into this belief that we are here to grow and develop. If you're sitting and watching Netflix every day for hours on end or you're addicted to your social media, then you are stuck. It's time to build some new skills. It's time to learn some new things. It's time to push yourself. Put down the phone, turn off the television. Time to get to work. We have to adopt the concept that we're here to be productive. And we have to be willing to work hard to get the results we are longing for. And I promise you that hard work gives a feeling of satisfaction that you can't get from watching Netflix. What I'm referring to means you have to get up off the couch. You have to get to work. Now, to do this, to get the inspiration and the motivation and the momentum to actually get yourself up off the couch, we have to create a clear vision as to what we want. What do we want out of ourselves and out of our life? And here's a tip. The more epic the vision the more compelling and inspirational it will be, the easier it will be for you to stay on task. Now, here's an example. For most of my life, my life vision was pretty muddy. I also carried some main beliefs that 
really were not a recipe for consistent success. So once I became aware of my of the cost of my most debilitating limiting beliefs that were affecting my overall self-concept, I decided to re- replace them with more constructive beliefs. The new beliefs that I had to work with probably wouldn't be relevant to you because they were unique to my own situation. And each person's situation is entirely unique to them. And that's why you need to take a look at what your beliefs are that are contributing to your self-concept. What's holding you back? What's keeping you from having your best life? Once I discovered my limiting beliefs, once I found alternatives to those limiting beliefs, then I had to take massive action to convince my mind that those new beliefs that I had created were a fact, that they were a truth. Because you can tell your mind over and over and over again that you are a hardworking person. But if you're sitting and watching Netflix for five hours a day, you're not. You're not. So you have to take action to prove to the mind that you are worthy, that you are valuable, that you are trustworthy, that you can give yourself a command and follow through consistently on a regular basis. In addition to creating new beliefs that helped re-sculpt my new self-concept, I created 10 affirmations reflecting this new self in my mind's eye and the life that I wanted to create. I did this to keep me focused on what I wanted to create in my life, personally and professionally. I wrote down these 10 affirmations. And to this day, I still go over them every morning. I allow myself about a half a minute on each affirmation. And I also ignite the affirmations with emotion so that I can feel the joy and the excitement and the inspiration that these visions, these affirmations hold for me. Now, just a heads up, the negative stuff never completely goes away. But over time with practice and focus and effort, the negative thoughts and beliefs have less and less influence on us and the new empowering beliefs will take over. And when this starts to happen, the new self-concept begins to emerge. So you have to step out in an act of faith to be able to bring about this new personal revolution because that's really what it is. I hope I've given you something to think about today. Now, as always, we're going to go into our mindfulness meditation. So sit down, get comfortable, relax, and take in a nice deep breath and close your eyes. Okay, are you nice and comfortable? Today, we're going to talk about staying focused. Today, we are going to really try to focus on our breathing and to practice letting our thoughts just flow in and out. Now, as we begin, make sure your eyes are closed and we're going to take three deep breaths in through our nose and then out through our mouth. So let's start by taking that first deep breath in through the nose and release. And take a deep breath in through your nose. And release. And another deep breath in through the nose. And release. As you continue breathing, I want you to focus on one thing you can hear or feel. Please spend a few seconds focused on only this. If you find that your thoughts wander, just gently direct them back to what you are focused on. (music) 
It is very normal to have wandering thoughts, truly normal. It's just how our brain works. Just simply acknowledge that they are there and refocus yourself back on the breathing. Continue to keep breathing and staying focused on what you choose. Now we will take three deep deep breaths in through the nose and out through our mouth. Let's take a deep breath in and release. And a deep breath in and release. And a deep breath in and release. And now you can open your eyes. As always, I hope I've given you something to think about today. Just remember that if you really want to create a different tomorrow, a different existence from today, you can't keep doing the same things you were doing yesterday or even being, in many cases, the same person you were yesterday. To bring about a different tomorrow, you have to do things differently. You probably have to have a different mindset. Nine times out of ten, you do. So focus on looking at your self-concept and ensuring that you have really looked at it, that you've analyzed it, And if you find things that need to change, course correct. If you go back to what we've talked about in the beginning, loving yourself is where it starts. If you truly love yourself, you're going to do the things you need to do to do right by you. Make that commitment if you haven't made it yet. And start working toward that brighter future today, right now. God bless. Be bold, be brave, and always, always be your authentic self until we meet again.